folks are back. Oh my god, huge spear out of nowhere is taking out Mike Rowe by Michael Strahan. The enemy just gored the hell of Mike Rowe. And save folks who are back the action of the Battle of Houston match. It comes down to one member of each team. Team Stalin of Sex and Violence, Adam Savage of the Mythbusters, Michael Strahan of the Good Iron Greats, and Mike Rowe of the Dirty Animals. We've already seen the elimination of Luke Fowler, Ross Rear Mitchell, Practical Burst, and Jimmy Heineman. And who in this match will continue one more man has been eliminated to return the, the absolute loser of the tag team division here. And I just have Gene Stum going for a pinfall here. And I'm sure it's in the best interest of all four of these guys to pick up anybody, not only to ensure that, that they win the match, but you know whoever gets a huge gets the pin. The final pin this match is definitely going to get pushed in towards the Titan Championship, perhaps. Ah, uh, Gene Starlin showing no mercy as he's swinging that 2x4 in the face of Adam Savage. Adam back up, taking it to Gene here, takes him down. And Michael Strahan has got, oh my god, Gene Starlin head first into that chair. Now what's Adam thinking? What's this? Oh, an elbow drop. Michael Strahan's got Mike Rowe on the Spanish announce table. What's he got in store? Oh, Mike Rowe just nearly pushes him off, and he wants to get the heck off of there. He does. Strahan not have him, though. Adam again with the chair. Oh, and Gene Stone blocks it. Michael Strahan right here. Oh, my Mike Rowe getting out of, out of Holmes' way here. Now we're back on the outside once again. The majority of this match is taking place out in the sport circle here tonight. Now almost all four of these men are going to play King of the Hill on top of the Spanish announce table. What was it like the second, third time perhaps the Spanish announce table has been, been in the center stage here? We saw earlier Spike getting put to the table earlier. Wait a minute! And Mike Rowe got back suplex on the Mike Rowe. And Gene Starwin kind of pinned Adam Savage, but I guess that was broken up by Michael Strand, because I think everyone wants to get that final pin here, like I said, I'm sure that final pin is so definitely going to put any of these teams, you know, in the title picture in the near future, and I think that's one thing all the three teams share in common, they all want to become BWA Tag Team Champions, they do absolutely anything to become champion. The assault on Gene Starlin here. Starlin does a smart thing and rolls out the ring, getting out of Harden's way, comes back in. He's going to take the punishment back to Adam, and Adam comes from behind with that throwback. Mike Rowe with that. And again, Adam Savage with this elbow drop on a Gene Starlin. And now what's Michael Strand setting up for? Who's he going after? Who's he stalking? Could it be Gene Starlin? Oh, wait. With Mike! Oh my god! Big on that spear, a, a back of Michael's head hit that steel chair. That's a double and greater impact by, by that spear there. That's gonna be all for Mike Rowe. And these, all three of these men were just battling. Oh my god, you know that follow up spear. All three of these men were battling for that pin attempt there. And Gene Stalin breaking up that attempt there. How many spears have we seen Mike Rowe receive here tonight? I'm sure that wasn't the only two there. And when I saw a couple on the outside this earlier on. Michael Strahan's got a chair again. Mike Rowe, oh my. Mike Rowe is concussed. I don't think he knows where he's at. Doesn't look good for the dirty animals right now. Back on the outside is Adam and Gene. And Gene's getting these left and right in that wind up punch. I think that might have busted Gene Starwind open. And Savage closing Art. Our table here taking those monitors off. Oh, he doesn't plan on using those as a weapon. And Michael Strand's got got Micro up here. And he hits him with that game breaker, the twisting net breaker. And we will just be right here, folks. God, and there you have it, folks. Michael Strand gets the final pin on a Micro. And I the dirty animals have lost this matchup. Here's your winner, Sex and the Mythbusters, the Gridiron Prince. Goodness, Lucian, and who would have thought that the Dirty Animals 
can fall victim to this matchup here. And they were having so much momentum in the last few weeks until they, until they tuned up. I thought for sure they would be a huge favorite to win here tonight. But I guess Mike Rose had been worked on by Michael Sherpro. The Live Republic's matchup, and I guess it overcame Mike Rose to the point where he couldn't pick out the game breaker. Anyway, here's. Wait, Filmo's out here! Mono Loka is coming out here, folks. I mean, I don't even know what the hell possibly that Luke has to tell her. I guess Phil most said that, that Luke Fong has to, that he said that if the Dirty Animal to the Luke the Bell of Houston match, that he would have to tell the truth. And we have no idea what he's referring to. And I guess he has to tell the truth. And it has something to do with Mono Loka, I guess. We're going to find out, like, find out what it is here. And I, and I think... Mono Loka has more important things to worry about if you ask me. I mean, he has a huge matchup against Arisei, and uh, if she loses, then she has to, she has to have to be forced to sleep with this here later tonight, folks. And, that is when it was, and also, earlier tonight, it was announced by the Enforcer before he I made, mean, we all know he's not here, but he made an announcement after a solo on the air last week that now Arisei and, and Mono Loka compete for the vacated Double X Championship. Another reason for Mono Loka to look forward to her match here up next. So let me get this straight. Everything that Luga said up to this point about him being cool, about him being a badass, was all a lie. And I guess that's I guess that spells the end of the of the relationship of Mona Loka and Luke Fowler. Well it was a good run while lasting for Luke Fowler. And now is this Arisea? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the double X championship. Now approaching the ring, she is the challenger, being accompanied by Diz. From Shreveport, Louisiana, she is the superior entity for real, Arisea. I guess on Assault, episode 22, Arisea, she 
said that, that that'll be the last time you would ever see her pretend a joke of a person gave into by the enforcer. And she said at Kuma Fit Bigger see the real era say, and I guess this, this is what it is. New attire, new appearance, new entrance music, new everything. And I don't know what, what the new air sale is, or the real air sale. I thought everything we've seen up to this point was the real air sale, but I guess it's not. And I also talked to Diz earlier today, and even though that she hopes, she hopes that air sale wins tonight, she's a, she hopes that Mona Loka doesn't get too into this match, but she wants to have sex with Mona Loka at, at 100%, which is 100% healthy. And there's the bell, folks, and the Double X Championship is on the line here to vacate the Double X Championship, and air sale wasting absolutely no time. Fed's press here, getting these combinations of right to the face, and I'm stomping a mud hole in her when she's down, and no respect. 